Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel and today it is Manny Mondays. Mondays, we talk all things nail polish. Today's video is going to be on the two newest collections just about to drop this Friday, August 30th from ILMP. Before we get started, I am going to share with you guys what I have all over my nails. This is ILMP's Get Cozy and I've talked about this one. If you follow me on my Instagram, which I always have down below in the description, you'll have seen this many times. Really enjoy this one and the next time I order from ILMP, I will be purchasing a backup because I love this one so much. Before we get started on the collections, I do have to share with you my lip combo. Firstly, on the base of my lips is Julianne's Nude from L'Oreal's Signature Collection. I know I've had this one for a very long time. I really enjoy it. This is on the base of my lips. Now, what's making my lips spicy is Patrick Ta's 2CCs. She is spicy. If you are sensitive to those um, pepperminty or fire like cinnamon lips, you might wanna stay away from this. I'm okay with it, I like it, I love the effect it gives, that's why I'm wearing it. We have two collections from ILMP dropping this Friday, August 30th. I am so excited, I would like to thank ILMP so much. They reached out to me and asked if I would like to be gifted these polishes, so just know I'm not being sponsored here. They were gifted to me, but I will be sharing you guys my honest opinions and thoughts on all of the polishes. I will not just be sugarcoating everything, so there's definitely some favorites in this collection and you'll see that in this video. The first collection we'll be talking about today is the Camground Collection, which is four different cream polishes. They have a really nice rounded brush which makes cremes go on really nicely. All of these are in the Studio Color Cream formula, so I really like that. And I have a surprising favorite. Can you figure out which one it might be? I'm surprised. I think you will be too. But ILMP didn't stop there. They decide, hey, it's fall. We are all into the deeper colors, some little pizzazz, get ourselves out of the like neon summer. We're going from brat summer to demure fall. So what did ILMP do? They brought six more shades out in their vineyards collection, which if you guys don't know me, I'm originally from Oliver, British Columbia, Canada, which happens to be the wine capital of Canada. And I grew up around the wines. There are six pieces to this collection. They're all a jelly formula with a scatter holographic. Here's the color wheel, if you would like to see that before we get going. See, so of course you have the vineyard collection up here, all six jelly with scattered holographic. And we have four of the creams. Can you figure out which one I really love? I was completely surprised, you guys, no joke. Although I don't have the prices for the nail polishes, if you're familiar with ILMP, I will put in the description bar below their website. Follow their website, go onto their Instagram or any other handle that they have to check out all of their information. I don't have the prices per polish. I'm gonna say likely the creams may be a dollar, so cheaper maybe. I don't know, than the scattered holographic, but just keep in mind, go to the website. I imagine this week they'll start dropping like hints as to how much they are going to be. But with that said, you guys, I've talked enough. Let's get to swatching. I'm pretty ecstatic to bring you guys two collections from ILMP, the Vineyard Collection and the Campground Collection. First up, we're gonna be discussing the four polishes in the Campground Collection. These are all studio color cream shades that are made with a fluid buildable formula. First up, we have the color Mushroom, which is described as a mushroom taupe color, which I will absolutely agree. I wasn't sure I was going to like this one because I thought, oh, it's really close to my skin tone. But as I put it on, I took it outside, got all the different types of light that you'll see shortly here. I have fallen in love with this color. This is your perfect demure fall. Like, you know how everyone's talking about demure fall and was it rat summer? <laughs> anyway, I'm too old for that. But anyway, this is such a great office nail polish color. First of all, it's a creme or a cream, so it goes on really well. Now, all of these creams that you're gonna see from this collection, the four polishes, have the rounded brush. It's a great brush for application. Next up, we have the color chocolate, which is described as a chocolate brown color. And I will have a comparison with this one and another brand's brown or chocolate color at the end of this video, so stay tuned. Not my absolute favorite one from the collection, to be completely honest and fair, because you're gonna see my favorite very shortly. But I was actually really surprised with this brown. It almost gives me a gingerbread or a warm brown, definitely more on the milk chocolate than the dark chocolate. This is a stunning milk chocolate to your s'mores. 
I actually really do love ILMP's creams. I think their formula is really, really nice. As you guys can see here, here's in the sunlight. I will show you in the shade. I think I actually prefer it more in the shade. I want my deep, deep, dark browns, almost like a burnt chocolate or a dark chocolate for me and my skin tone. But I know that so many people are gonna love this. And if you have some toppers in your collection, this would look really great underneath, great topper. Next up is my favorite from the collection. I know, Gasp and Awe. This is a green. I have now been converted into a green polish lover. That's me, my name's Kim, I love green polish. This is fabulous. My favorite one from this four piece collection, this is Treetop, which is simply described as a moss green. And I would actually say to me, my first instinct is more of an olive, but I get where they're coming from. This is the campground collection. The names are very much associated to the collection name itself. This one was a definite two quarter for me. Uh, one coat if you have really short nails, if you have longer nails than mine, probably three, but that will be all dependent on your likes and dislikes. As you guys can see in the sunshine, beautiful, almost army green. In the shade, it darkens up, of course. I just absolutely love this one. And I didn't plan it this way, but because of the green in the background, I think it even makes it stand out that much more. And the last polish in the campground collection is truffle, which is very simply described as a blackened truffle color. And I would almost give it almost a medium tone, I guess it would be slate color. It's really nice. It's a perfect fall gray. I'm only showing you guys this in one coat because with my lights, I thought, oh yeah, I got great coverage, perfect. And then I went outside and I watched my clips back afterwards when I'm editing and went, oh, Okay, my recommendation would be two coats of this particular color for anyone's nails and three coats if you have fairly long nails. That's the only thing I would change up with this is that as you can see there, there's some patchiness, but I couldn't see that under my bright lights and I'd already taken everything off. So yeah, I love this color. I think it's beautiful. This collection's probably, between the two collections, probably my favorite, don't tell anybody. I'm really, really loving and digging the creams. The next collection is called the Vineyard Collection, which is actually launching the same day as the Campground Collection. So you're getting 10 polishes. I'm from the Okanagan Valley in beautiful British Columbia. These are my photos here of the grapes of which I've walked by so many times and I've probably had many sips of these wines in my past and probably future. The very first color in the six piece collection is called Hidden Path, which is described as a warm mahogany brown. All six colors in this collection also have a scattered holographic flaky running throughout it and they're all a jelly formula and you'll notice a different type of brush as well, which just helps the formula go on a little more evenly. As you'll see here, I am putting on two coats of this color. Now, in my personal opinion, I would could describe this more of an amber color, at least on my skin tone, more than the warm mahogany, which to me, mahogany seems a little bit deeper in my mind from my experience, but really enjoy this one. It's definitely a great orange for fall. I don't own anything like this one, and I think it's a great polish. I do love a good jelly formula, and the holographic flakies are just a little added bonus as well. Next up, we have the color Countryside, which is simply described as a charming olive green. I'll say it again, guys. I've never really been a fan of any type of green polishes, but in 2024, all of the brands seem to be changing my mind. I really do enjoy these greens. I enjoy these types of tones of green on my skin tone. I also really loved, of course, the one that we had in the campground collection as well. This is definitely at least a two coater on almost everyone, including myself, and three coats if you have longer nails than I do, or you do not want to show any visible nail line. I'm just showing you in two here. 
this is a really pretty color. I really enjoy this one. Now I'm curious. I didn't do it for this video and I've kicked myself, but I wonder what this will look like on top of Treetop, which was the color green in the last collection we just talked about. Sounds like I gotta go swatch again. <laughs> I probably won't be able to put it into this video. Just a thought that occurred in my mind as I'm watching this back over and editing this. I wonder, but they both are great. I'm very happy about the greens. Moving on from the color greens, we are now about to talk about Merlot, which is a sultry wine red. And this is a beautiful color that is very bright in the direct sunlight. I feel that that's where this one definitely sparkles. Like I'll say for pretty much all of these from this collection, I would definitely put on two to three coats, again, depending on your preference. These are all a jelly formula, all with the scattered holographic. So the jelly formula is more on the thinner side, so building it up to get the opacity that you desire. I just really love how this one sparkles in the direct sunlight. I think this red is actually a great red that will transition from a fall or autumnal type red into the holiday season. Next up, we have the color Honeymoon, which is described as a luscious, deep berry. This is a beautiful berry color. I think this berry will suit so many skin tones because I want to say it's kind of in the medium family. It's not too warm. It's not too cool. It's just right. I really love the tone of this color. And I will say I flooded my nail a bit much on this one. I would definitely keep an eye on staining. It didn't stain my nails, but it has the potential to stain. What a gorgeous, beautiful, almost raspberry juicy color, especially in the sunlight. You gotta love those holographic flakies that just sort of sparkle in the sun. It looks great in the shade, in the sun. Beautiful. Next up, we have Grapevine. Very fitting, very suited to this particular collection. This is a, what I will describe as a blurple because as you will see in some types of lights, it definitely leans purple. And in other types of lights, definitely more on the blue side. I have very, very curvy nails, so everything floods to the edges. So that's what happens when you have thinner formulas. This is, again, a jelly formula like every other one from the Vineyard Collection. This, again, would be a two to three coater and looks great here. But when we go outside, you're going to see quite the change. So here we have in the direct sunlight and the sparkles of the scattered holographic is gorgeous. And then we're going to dip you down into the shade. The shade really makes the purple stand out. So it's like a purple purple, whereas in the sun, it's like a blue leaning, almost cobalt blue into a grape purple color. That's why I love this one, because there's quite a bit of change to it depending on where you're standing, what kind of light source you have. Lastly, we have the color Rosalie, which is described as a delicate rosy blush. Now, I found this very interesting, the name that they chose for it. Like, I mean, I know it's like a blush wine, rosy, but Rosalie, out of all the names, isn't really necessarily a vineyard or vineyard style name compared to Countryside, Honeymoon, Merlot, Hidden Path, and Grapevine. Those all make sense to me. This was a little bit different. I'm also going to show you guys this color in three coats because it is the lightest of all the colors and my nail line definitely stands out, especially after swatching so many colors. But I think three coats for me was perfect. This is another one of those demure fall type colors. Definitely reminds me of a blush wine or a rosé. That would have been a really good name, rosé, but maybe it's trademarked with other companies that get mad at you if you use their name. <laughs> I'm not sure. I definitely picked this color as well as being an office appropriate color to wear as well. It's very demure, like I said earlier, very much the 
word of the season, if you will. Comparison time, I brought out Hollow Taco's brownie points that came out this past spring. Very different. When I put them together, I can definitely tell the difference. So not a dupe. I checked for a dupe for mushroom and I have to say the ones that I'm sharing with you guys, this one here is Essie's Maris, Maraschino Cool, sorry. Not a dupe, definitely very different, more purple in that one. And then the next one I have also from Essie is Chinchilli, which I love this color for fall. Not the same either. <laughs> So I have no dupes there either. From the vineyard collection, we have Rosalie up against Blush Ice from Hollow Taco. Thought that they might be the same. They are very, very different. Hollow Taco is more of a champagne color, whereas Rosalie is definitely more pink. Not a dupe. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm so excited. I think I'm mostly excited. Like my favorite of the two collections is the campground collection. These two are my favorites, but this one in Treetop, I cannot believe that this is the shade that really, oh my gosh, I, I, I can't stop thinking about it. I will be putting this on my nails very soon. I think that's a great polish color too, where you can topper it very well. As mentioned in the video, I wouldn't mind trying the tree top on the base with the countryside on top. They are both in a green formula. So I think that would be kind of interesting to try too. As mentioned earlier too, jelly formulas are a little bit thinner and they did have a different brush versus the creams. Creams, for the most part, one to two coats. Jellies, two to three coats, depending on your preference and your nail length. Again, I want to say thank you so much to ILMP. All my thoughts and opinions are my own and I did not get paid for this, but I am super, super thankful for them to reach out to me and offer me a gifted PR package to be able to share with you guys. This truly is awesome and amazing. I've only just started doing nail polish content on my channel not that long ago. Thank you to all of you who watch because if it wasn't for you, I would not probably get these types of opportunities. So thank you. That is everything you guys. If you do like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. But also don't forget we have Wax Wednesdays on Wednesdays, of course, which we talk all about Bath & Body Works hauls, vendor wax melts hauls and reviews, as well as sometimes I throw in things like the Starbucks mug collection I still have to film. I'm on repeat with that one. I'm sorry, it will get to it because I have so many I wanna share with you guys. But also too, I do some get it ready with me, some empties, some like trash content, that kind of thing. And on Fridays, we do personal fragrance. So everything that smells good on your body. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, be safe, take care and have fun. Bye guys.